Okay, what's the deal with the potatoes now? Oh, see how big these oh, big potatoes are? Yes. Yeah. These, the majority of these big potatoes came from the potato hills. What you do is you plant the potatoes, and then as the greens grow, you go and hill them up with more compost and dirt. And it's in that hill. Love you. We're oh. gone. We'll see you later. Oh. Yeah, we got. You want some potatoes? We already have some. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's a bag. For oh, you okay. It's in those hills that the potatoes, the bigger potatoes, grow. Okay. So uh, that's why, you know, I, I'm glad that you guys are getting I never potatoes noticed out that of those. when I grew them. <laughs> well, because you probably don't hill them. Yeah, I pitchfork more than you myself. See, so. <laughs> and what we do is the potatoes, once they grow to be big enough to be identified as potatoes, and maybe about uh, six, six inches or uh, maybe almost a foot, you start. Um, uh, covering them up all the way so up just to mound up yeah. You just keep as they grow higher. You just keep mounding. The more you mound, the more potatoes you grow. So the potatoes grow upwards, then. Yeah. Well, they actually grow outwards. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that's why, if you look, a lot of the bigger potatoes have got pitchfork marks because yeah. yours truly. I did the same thing. Yeah, and so. The bigger potatoes, as I said, were close to the surface. The smaller potatoes are the ones that were, you know, growing down. And had we left them in the ground, those smaller potatoes would have plumped up. So yeah. we'll, we'll keep those little potatoes. For and starters, starters, yeah, yeah. Because the bigger ones, when I did it, I would cut them into three wedges, like to get right. three starters out of them. Yeah, and see, or this that is a one. seed potato. Yeah, yeah. And if you feel I would it, cut, feel it. I would it's cut still that hard. in two myself. Right, it's still hard. So we can probably still start potatoes with that. <laughs> well, the neat. There's this company in Idaho. I don't remember the name, but they sell over 700 different tomato. I mean, potato species. Right. And I remember looking, they got blue potatoes, purple, right. orange, green, yellow. Well, it would be sense. awesome to get like a dozen starter seeds of every color. Well, well it isn't so that would be the unique. color as so much as the heirloom potatoes. Because each, okay. what had happened, just like with the corn, the maize, the uh, Native Americans had designed and had... Uh, uh, grown these potatoes and the corn to go and accommodate the location, the elevation, the you know the soil and the uh, temperature and everything. So if you need high altitude potatoes, they had a specific you know species true, that did true. best in high altitude. If you needed potatoes grown in the colder months, they had those. What's happening is the genetically modified uh, varieties are taking over for standardized potatoes so that when you go into McDonald's and Burger King, you'll be able to go and get a standard size fry. Well, yeah, that's pretty sad. Or ain't potato it? chips, Lay's potato chips. Pringles is not a potato chip. It's no. a potato product. Yeah, potato but paste nothing, breast. <laughs> yeah, nothing fits and fits so comfortably in a tin can like that. Exactly. And so that's, <laughs> what, that's what's happened to our corn and our potatoes is the uniqueness of the varieties are being bred out and genetically modified out. And it's also that the major food companies can have a standardized product, just like standardized chicken. We're losing a lot of the millennia's worth of genetic modification that had occurred naturally through Over evolution. Over the last 50 years. And, and uh, we're, we're modifying out the nutrients in our, um, in our vegetative products. We're modifying out all of the necessary things that keep us healthy. And so, why do we have more ADD people? Why do we have more type 2 diabetes? You've why got do we to, have more asthma? Yeah. Why do we have COPD and kids right. that never and, smoke? And the reality is, if you go back into our diet, or the diets that our mothers had when they were pregnant with us, possibly you'll find 
that they were starting to eat the, the processed sugars, the processed salts, oh. and that's what's modifying not just our, our uh, metabolism, but also our brain matter. And they know that our brains can be modified. Yes, you know, they do. And, and garbage in, garbage out isn't true just for computers. It's definitely true for, for people. I and, agree. Yeah, and totally so agree. All, you know, Americans are known for their obesity. Yes. And uh, let me tell you, it's because we eat junk food and we have exported junk food to the world. And if people in the world should hate us, if they shouldn't hate us because of our war machine. They should hate us for our economic corporatization of food. Yes, you are correct. But anyway, that's, that's just me. <laughs> well, my little add-in, I'll send you my videos I did the other day when you and George came out. But one thing that people don't realize, they want this convenience of having cucumbers and watermelon without seeds. Right. That's a non-viable thing. Right. They're genetically engineering it so that way every year you have to go to them to get the seeds. Right. So for that convenience of not getting a watermelon seed stuck in your teeth, you're giving away your right of self-sustainability well, and all kinds. Not just our right. This is, this is where humans have a, a, a very bad <coughs> attitude in an inner species. I mean, we're taking away the plant's right to reproduce. Yes, and, yes. And that's where it's even worse because most people would say that's too la-la and that's too, I mean, on beyond new age. But the reality is it's nature. It's exactly. That should have happened. And when you take that away, plants fight back, animals fight back, just like anybody else. We just don't know how they do it. Nature well, will find so a way. What, ha what is happening is what do the plants care if we get obese and die very early because of type 2 diabetes? They don't care. Well, they would benefit Eventually, them, I they think. Eventually, they know that they will go and genetically alter themselves in generations that are shorter than ours, they'll be able to flush out any of the bad things we put into them or else they'll become franken plants and they'll evolve out and they'll, they'll carry on. With us, we want to be healthy because we think that we are the only important things. Well, we're going to find out that the health <laughs> of our our, our so-called minds and bodies is only temporal that we're doing it for our very selfish generation but for the generations to come we've altered their reality already and and that's something that you know we're all going to be judged on whether rightfully or wrongfully the generations to come will will make up their own minds they won't listen to us I mean, you know, that's the thing that people are just going to have to understand. And, uh, you know, me, I made up my mind that I thought gardening and botanicals and understanding uh, how to get back, not just to nature, but commune with it in a sense and not do things, horrible things to it. And if I'm kind to them, they'll be kind to me. And I can in turn be kind to my species, who hopefully will be kind to their species, right? And we'll all get along together in a little, <laughs> in a nice biosphere, which is what we are. We're on a yeah, finite we're... planet with finite resources. And right now, I think all of the other species, plant and animal life, is looking at a human being as lower than dirt because we are the true viruses. <laughs> Can't argue that. But anyway, I'm happy with my potatoes because they're nice and we'll probably uh, pick some carrots and some onions. Um, I don't know if you saw the onions. I saw somebody yes. picked one. Yeah, I, I picked Did they? I didn't remember who picked it. <laughs> nice onions these that are uh, coming out out by their shoulders when they start browning they'll be ready to really get picked See? 
nice round yeah, one. Yeah, I don't see that see, one looks nice. This one was just about sitting out there. When they're when they're just sitting out there, they're ready to be picked. You 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 don't even what have to pick them. What are you gonna do with the stuff that you're picking it now, though? Well, these are going to go to uh, Union Mission oh, and okay. to uh, um, Catholic Worker, and uh, oh. you know, some of them like uh, earlier today when um, we had. Some people stopped by at the garden to ask for some collards because they saw our collards. We, yeah, yeah. I we was just thought, gave that's them. Why yeah, we just gave them a small bag of collards to help them on their way, and asked them to um, support the farm market because without the farm market, yeah, I, I it know. Would be I, up to <laughs> that I agree with. It so, does make life.